Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to set up Recon DB. It's a wrapper. Let me show you more. Just go to uh, npmgs slash package slash recon lx. Then you see this, then just scroll down to find Recon DB, click on it. So basically, uh, Recon DB. Let me just. Uh, Recon DB is basically a wrapper for Mongoose. In general, MongoDB um, for the people that are not used to using uh, Mongoose, like creating schemas and such. So I've created this. It acts like JavaScript sets, kinda. But yeah, I'm just gonna show you guys how to set it up, and I might use it in the future videos. So first, we're gonna import the package. Just go to it. Um, Visual Studio Code and then we just close all of these alright so first you're gonna go to package.json and then you wanna find for recon lx alright so as you can see here recon lx is 1.0.46 if you don't have this it's all good alright then you need to do uh, you need to make sure that your version should be at the latest version which is 1.0.52 so mine is currently 1.0.46 so you just gotta do this uh, npm update recon lx alright npm update recon lx and then you should update to the latest version let's just wait for it to update okay so the next step is to import the package so we're gonna go into our main directory and then we're gonna create a scheme uh, a file for recon db js okay so we're gonna import the package first so const equals require recon db uh, recon lx okay let's just wait for it to update so i can show you okay so it's updated to 10 1.5 1.0.5.2 uh 1.0.52 then you can go here and then you type re and then recon db should show up so this is a class then you must generate a new class with recon db equals new recon db cons db equals um, new recon db and then this is this and then the parameters should uri so basically uri is the connection string if you have if you don't know what's uri i'll show you really quickly um if i can type okay so uri here okay so if you haven't watched on how to set up mongodb um, feel free to watch I'll link it down below in the description um, after you set up you should look something like this then click on connect and then you click on connect using mongodb compass and then you should get the string so this is the URI that you're supposed to put inside there okay okay in my case I already have one it's in my config or JSON I'm just gonna copy this so remember, the thing is, you need to replace um, your password, the user password here. Um, so you see this password, replace the password with your mom, um, user password, alright? So just don't put password inside, okay, URI, just put it in a string, okay, then we can come back here, and then we're gonna export db, so we're gonna export module, dot exports. Uh, because db so it's exporting db so basically this is already set up this is the mom, uh, recon db already okay so let me just show you some commands uh, let me just create uh, let me just go utils and then we just recon db test okay, so i'm just going to demonstrate on how to use this so we're going to save um, one to apple and then save to to pineapple all right okay so we're gonna use this with discord we're gonna trigger a discord commands 
So module exports module exports name will be um, trigger uh, recon db. All right, and then run async client message args. Okay, so we're gonna do the function here. So first, we're gonna require database. It's const db because require. You're gonna go back to the file um, that you put in the class in. So in my case, I'm gonna go back to steps and then require recon db. All right. So once you've done this, first I'm gonna save data for Apple is equals to one. A one equals to Apple. So one is the key and Apple is the value. So await db dot set. So one and then apple. And I'm also gonna set pineapple to await db dot set to and then I'm gonna pine apple. Alright. And then so yeah, this is it. Then I'm gonna show you guys it's gonna pop up here. Just go inside there real quick. Okay, so let me just trick uh for another bot. Okay. Connected db. Okay, so you should see connected to recon db every time you start up the main file. You should see connected to recon db. I don't know why it's showing it twice because um, I think I've not found, but it should just show up once over here. Okay, so we're gonna do um, what is the command again? Why recon db? Okay, so after I did this, you should have uh, you should save the data to the database. So let me just refresh. Um, recon DB, and you see recon DB here. So the first key is apple, and the second one is pineapple. So yeah, you should see recon DB. Yes. So first apple, second pineapple. So yeah. So next, we, I'm gonna show you guys um, the get method. So I'm gonna get one, and it should show me apple. If I get two, you should show me pineapple. So I'll wait, DB to get one. Let me show you the way db get one. Let me console. Let me const a equals and we db console the log a, and then that should show apple. Let me just save this real quick. Uh, no dot. Mm, okay, just wait for it to load. Okay, so why? Recon DB and then it should lock Apple as you can see here because one here the one here is the key is one and then the value if you return the value okay to check now it's gonna do has so has it shows that whether there's data or not so if there is data you return true and if there's no data you return false so let me just show you again really quickly no dot it should say true. All right. So why recon DB? It should say true. Okay. So the last method is the delete method. Delete. Await DB dot delete one, and then after it has been deleted, and then we're gonna console log. Um, Where's the data with await db dot has so cons has equals await db dot has one console the log has all right so it should it should return false because the data has been deleted I'm gonna show you guys really quickly so as you can see here data is still here after I refresh it's still here. So we're gonna delete the first data. As you can see here, the way db dot delete one. So why we can't db? It's triggering this and that. Oh, 
What did I, what did I do wrong? Um, oh, it's been deleted because it runs everything at the same time because it's asynchronous. So, yeah, now I'm gonna show you guys how to delete. We're gonna delete pineapple, which is the key is number two. So, we're gonna delete two. So, away db.delete two. Alright, and we're just gonna start the board up again. Okay, connect to MongoDB. DB, um, and then why bring on DB? After I run this command, it should delete the data. So when I, as you can see, there is data right now. So when I refresh, it should be gone. So yeah, it's gone. So if you have any errors or you need any help with anything about this code JS or any programming, uh any programming languages or things feel free to join the discord support server it will be linked in the description other than that have a nice day see you again on the next video bye